Hi everybody and welcome to my fifth Microsoft Excel 2013 tutorial and in this tutorial I'm going to show you how to do various averages. You already saw in the last tutorial if we highlight an area uh, we, we can see what the average is down at the bottom. Now that is the mean average. The, as I'm sure most of you are aware there's lots of different types of averages in the, the mathematics world. So here I've just put them in uh, and so we've got median, mean, mode, minimum, maximum um, and the only thing we're probably missing is the range but that's where min and maximum comes in so it's just 5 to 18 and then so the range is 13 uh, and so uh, they're very simple formulas so we just use the same as sum and count so in this case of the median and that just, just gives us the number that's in the middle of the range and then we've got the mean which is all the numbers added together divided by how many there are so uh, that'll be 126 divided by 10, which is 12.6. We then got mode, which just finds the one that's the most. So that can be really useful in some situations in Excel, uh, which uh, I'm not sure if we'll breeze on to in later tutorials or not. Uh, but one to keep in your mind is mode, because you can do a few little tricks with it. And then minimum and maximum, so for these you just do min and max. Uh, then they're pretty much all just write what you are, except for the mean one, which you just type average, because that's basically the only average that is worth the paper it's written on. Uh, and that's it really for averages. I'm not going to go into them too much more because like I said, they're really simple. Uh, I want to start getting onto the more complex stuff as quickly as possible. Uh, so that's it for this tutorial. In the next tutorial, I'm going to show you how to start using numeric operators. Thanks for listening and I hope to catch you then.